I recently got all of these as a gift uh, from the shopping channel and thank you, thank you again for this amazing color cosmetics set. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about their products and a little bit of background about like 100% Pure, which is actually a really great um, eco-friendly, all organic, uh, vegan skincare and color cosmetics line. So I know it sounds like a big like mumbo jumbo, like a lot of gimmicky stuff but it's actually really great quality makeup that I just uh, received from this kit. I guess we'll get started on this amazing kit. So it came in this really cute box. So I mean, packaging being number one, I love good packaging. This, it came in this nice box and inside it had like a shelving thing, which all the products were placed in, but I threw that out so I can use it to store stuff. I'll probably just put like old eyeshadows and like uh, maybe, I don't know, even notes and stuff. I'm not sure what I'm gonna store in it, but. I just like that. And on the back it even has a really nice little note and talks about their their uh, line and their mission statement. So all the color cosmetics that I'm going to talk about are using all 100% fruit and vegetable pigments. So there's none of those chemicals and toxins. Um, and uh, it's better for your skin because they say that all the antioxidants and all the healthy ingredients and stuff that come along with the fruit pigments are also left in the product itself. So there's it's going to be good better for your skin than some other uh, chemicals. So the first product is the Strawberry Fruit Pigment Blush. I really, really like this blush. I think the color is universally flattering and the pigment is good and the packaging is cute. So um, this is all fruit pigments and they say that on the back it's, it mentions like they use blackberry, pomegranate, cranberry, raspberry, uh, goji berry, a lot of really kind of great uh, healthy um, antioxidant rich fruits. So this is the color. Can you tell? Can you see it? I'll put it on my hand. It's um, slightly shimmery and um, it is, it comes out fairly pigmented even though if you can't really tell in this video. Uh, the color is really good. It's peachy, it, I'm sorry, it's pinkish slash purpley. So it, it, think of it kind of like as Prism and Honor um, from MAC. I think that those are kind of similar to this color. And um, you don't need very much of it. I use my uh, a blush brush, like an Eco Tools brush, blush brush that I'm using right now. And I lightly dab it underneath on my on my cheeks and stuff and the color comes out just great. I'm wearing it right now. So I don't know if you can tell or see it in this video, but the packaging is so cute. It even has a mirror on the inside. The pigment is good and I like that I, my skin hasn't broken out from it or anything and I haven't reacted from it even though there's sometimes natural products tend to uh, cause a larger reaction than, than some of the other chemical products, which is funny. And um, that's a really nice uh, universally flattering color. Second item is the Juicy Lip Gloss by 100% Pure in Berry. Once again, I'm also wearing the color right now. And I think that the pigment is just awesome because here, I'll put it on my hand to show you. It comes out almost like a lip gloss, uh, lipstick slash stain because it, it, it comes out really rich, the color. And it's once again, a universally flattering color. And it is 100% um, natural, 90% vitamin E is in this product as well. I find that the staying power is quite good. It doesn't taste funny, it smells like berries. And um, it doesn't have that funny lipstick, lip gloss taste. And it's relatively sticky, so uh, be, be aware on a windy day not to use it. <laughs> but I like it. Eyeliner pencils. So it comes in a duo. One side is champagne, one side's chocolate, the side's champagne. The side's chocolate. I almost think of them as eyeliner um, eyeliner crayons versus the pencils. And that's champagne. And sorry, that's champagne. This one's chocolate. They are fantastic eyeliner pencils slash crayons. I use them, usually use them as a highlighter, the champagne side as a highlighter and the chocolate as an eyeshadow versus using them as eyeliners because I think with a thicker pencil, I t have a tendency uh, to find that they smudge pretty easily because they of their consistency. I find a lot of the kind of like more glossy, um, like smooth, smoother eyeliners to have a tendency to budge a little faster on me because they're a little bit more like, um, 
because like they crease a lot faster on my particular um, on my eyes so you do need a good eyeliner uh, I mean sorry eyeshadow primer before using this which I think is a, a little word of advice but the pigments are fantastic it glides on super easy and um, there's a lot of ways to apply the colors so the chocolate I apply as an eyeshadow by using an eyeshadow brush to uh, sorry a smudge brush to smudge in the eyeliner sort of um, to make it a little bit more smoky and the champagne I like to use underneath my eyes or in the corner of my eyes as a nice highlighter pencil. So it is comparable to even like the highlighter pencils and eye crayons that, that NARS has. I find that they stay on a little bit better than that NARS even. So the pigments are fantastic and it's such a cute package as well. I have their Vanilla Sugar eyeshadow and their Cocoa Plum. Personally, I like the Cocoa Plum better because I always like dark eyeshadows. And this one is in Vanilla Sugar. Keep in mind the Vanilla Sugar, unfortunately, it has cracked even when I received it in the mail, which is such a bummer because I think it's a nice color. It looks kind of like the Stila Kitten uh, eyeshadow, which is their like most universally flattering color as well. I like to use this as a highlighter instead of using it as eyeshadow because it is already a loose powder for me. So I just don't really like using um, something so crumbly on my eyes. And I use a fluffy... A blush brush and use this as a highlighter on my cheekbones and I think it would be uh, just a really flattering color and they use once again vanilla pigments and, and various other fruit dyes to create this and um, their brown I'm sorry their cocoa plum is just such a gorgeous color here can you see it here or here isn't that a beautiful shade I think it reminds me a lot of uh, the Lorac uh, Deep Plum that I have. It's it's a very nice eggplant color, and um, the pigment is nice. The staying power is really good, and these are the in the palette is and sorry like and the packaging is once again really nice. Um, on to their mascara. It also came with the hundred percent pure fruit pigmented um, length ultra lengthening mascara and that's like quite a word mouthful oh my gosh I dropped it oops <laughs> anyway so um this is their lip sorry their their mascara and I I recently received a smaller sample size from the um be your own beauty gift kit, kit that I got from the shopping channel too so um, this one is in the smaller size so I actually opened this one and I kind of just haven't opened this one so I have tried it a few times and I do like it the brush is nice you know it's a fair it's a good size it's somewhere it's not too not too full not too thin either um, it's nothing amazing it does actually add length, I do think so. And it's nice if you're looking for an eco-friendly kind of vegan product, then I would say that this mascara definitely holds up. I do think it adds more volumizing than, all, than lengthening, but that's just my opinion as well because I think my lashes are pretty, um, my lashes are more full than they are long. So I think that with mascara, it just made it look more full. Anyway, that was the other product. makeup brushes, which I think were their most disappointing product. Um, both of them, their the hairs of the brushes kept falling out even after using it twice. Both I've washed both once and recently just used this one again. This is their eyeshadow brush and this is their blush brush. I like them uh, for their look, aesthetically, they look really pretty and they're great for travel. But other than that, I think that the brushes were pretty subpar. And um, that's it. That concludes my review on the 100% Pure gift set. Thank you.